That's right, Texas bound. Not once, but twice this week. Find out all about it right after this. at 146 on I-30 at the Sefco Travel Plaza. Yeah, one of my favorite stops in this area. Gotta do my post trip here on the good old electronic log. And let's see, trailer that's it. Want to go eat? Go to you bed. You have zero hours and one minutes of remaining drive time. I have one minute left when, I, when I pull Messaging. in here. You have zero hours. All right, that's and enough. You told me that already. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning probably. Good morning, I think. Saturday morning here in Mount Vernon, Texas. We're a little bit behind, but it's all good. So we got our coffee, free trips finished, and we're ready to roll. Yeah, I made it to the Little Rock Yard. Get ready to drop this loaded trailer. What are y'all doing way up there? <laughs> I'm just messing with you all. We're here in Little Rock. Hooked to an empty trailer. Uh, getting ready to head over here to Stuttgart. Get a load for the next Kansas on Monday. Saturday afternoon now. So we're going to head on over to Stuttgart. Probably not get too far and go to sleep. Tired. Long night last night. Late night last night. Got a late start this morning. 
and uh, one of them days. So if everything checks out good, let's head to Stuttgart. Stuttgart, Arkansas. Picked up to a loaded trailer. Going to Lenexa, Kansas. I think I ha I've had I have this run if I can talk correctly on a couple other of my weekly vlogs here to the next of Kansas uh, not a bad load it's Saturday afternoon I don't know 1600 4 o'clock and we got all day tomorrow to get there we don't have to be there till Monday morning 0845 plenty of time so I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna get a few miles in today not too many uh, go to sleep it's a good Sunday morning here in North Little Rock at the Petro and we left Stuttgart yesterday after getting our loaded trailer and we came up here about 61 miles about an hour drive parked here for the night and we got our coffee and we're getting ready to head on towards Lenexa, Kansas. I'm gonna try to make it up there this afternoon. Park there for the night. Here we go. Going through the tunnel. We're getting ready to go through the tunnel. Here in Arkansas on I-49 North. I think I've showed this before on video. We're gonna do it again. It's the Bobby Hopper Tunnel. Get halfway through, and we're we'll turn on the engine brake and see if we can hear anything. All right, let's try. I got a quiet engine brake. Looks like we didn't hear anything. Maybe you did. I don't know. It's a beautiful day to be driving. Yeah, days like this are uh, welcome all the time. There's some more engine braking here. I don't know. All right, let me get back to working. Got here to my customer, and there's already trucks already sitting here for tomorrow morning delivery. There's one right here, and there's one on the other side of him. <laughs> Everybody's got the same idea, I guess. It is kind of nice around here. It's quiet and everything, so uh, no disturbances. And we'll be here when everybody comes in in the morning. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be go see. It's not first come, first serve. It's by your appointment time. I have a 0845 appointment time, so uh, I don't know what that time their appointments are. It don't really matter who got here first or anything. Uh, it goes by appointment time, so I think eight's when they start checking out these dumpsters. It's all wood in there. It was empty my trash. But I don't want to throw it in a dumpster that's not supposed to be used for trash, wood. Another one here that's hooked up to the machine. It's a nice day today. Kind of warm. Got the AC going in the truck. Or I will have. Probably throw a trash in there. It's compactor. It's kind of windy. Got a little windy coming up here. That's all right. Not too bad. So go here and chill out for the rest of the evening. A beautiful Monday morning in Lenexa, Kansas. We just got empty here at the customer. Getting ready to head up to the little truck stop couple miles up the road because they don't have any room around here at the customer to uh, sit and wait 
to dispatch or whatever, but uh, probably not going to do anything the rest of the day. My hours are low, and uh, there's a couple other trucks that were here. Well, actually, about five trucks, including me, that were here getting unloaded, so they all need a load too. That's all right. We already had a decent week, so we can afford to chill out the rest of the day if we have to. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to see what, see what happens. If I do get a dispatch, it'll probably be picking up in the morning somewhere. That's fine. I'm good with that. Well, we're here at 7 uh, Eleven. Exit 215 on 35. I think it's Old Lake to Kansas or somewhere in that area. Everything runs together over here. And uh, been here a couple hours. It's about 3:30 now, and we just got dispatched for a load picking up in the morning or 10 o'clock tomorrow. Going uh, go up to Iowa, pick it up. And uh, it's 235 deadhead miles, so we're going to probably head out here in a few minutes. Get uh, maybe half the way up there, I don't know, we'll see. And that way we'll be close. So we don't have to get up so dang on early and drive. We can be close and sleep in, pick the load up, and head on down the road. So that's a good deal. But we're out of here, heading towards Iowa. Yeah, Tuesday morning, getting ready to head up to uh, Iowa. I'll give you the name of that town later. I can't remember, some weird name. We're here at Eagleville, Missouri at the Loves. Um, checking all the lights and everything. Everything looks good. So let's get out of here. We got plenty of coffee. I met my customer, the shipper, here in Okaloosa, Iowa. And look. Yes, it is snowing. And it turned cold. Yesterday I had the air conditioner on. Today I'm going to turn the heater on. I already have turned the heater on. I got up here, gave my pickup number. Wrong number. Got a hold of dispatch there in Little Rock. They sent me another number. It was a bad number. That load had already been picked up a month ago. So I had to call dispatch again. Got another pickup number. It was a good pickup number. But it was supposed to have been picked up yesterday. And now they don't have the load ready. So I'm waiting here at the customer. For them to uh, get me back into a dock. So I was sitting here. It was raining. It started raining about an hour ago. Now look at it. It's snowing. And it's cold. And my arm is getting wet. So I'm going to get off of here and roll this window back up. Finally quit snowing and finally got loaded up there at Ouskalos, Oskaloosa, whatever, Iowa. <laughs> uh, it's a heavy load, 43,000 what the bills say so we're here to just pile it in Osceola Iowa to uh, get on the cat scale and see what it looks like feels all right so I don't think I'm overweight on any of my axles or anything but uh, we're still going to check it out anyway just to be safe and if you have to hand off the load to anybody, they'll know how much the load weighs and if the axles are legal and everything. As soon as this truck backs in the spot, we're going to jump on the scales. We've got a scale ticket. Looking good on the weight. 75,800. And all the axles and everything look good. So we're good to go. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. I don't have to worry about it if we get pulled into a way station. 
Good Wednesday morning. We're in Harrisonville, Missouri at the Loves. We got parked here last night. We had about 20 minutes left to drive. So we thought we'd better pull in here and check to see if we could find a parking spot. And uh, yeah, we did. We got a parking spot. There weren't a few left. We found one, backed into it, and took our break. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning here in Central Time Zone. And uh, we got about 10 more minutes before we can leave out. We got to do some miles today. We got held up there in Iowa. Put us behind schedule. So we got to run. See, we're about, uh, still about a thousand miles. Maybe you know, about 900 miles out to Laredo. That's where this load is going. I don't know if I told you or not. That's where we're going. And uh, we're supposed to be down there by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I don't think that's going to happen. We can't run 900 miles today. Not legally, anyway. So we ain't going to break any laws. We're going to go by the book. Run as many miles as we can today. And see if we get there by 9 a.m. in the morning. I don't think so. It might have to give me a couple extra hours or something. At least. Let's start the schedule for today. We're on some miles. See you in a minute. We're about 20 miles out of Joplin, Missouri. Still on 49 South. Get ready to get on 44 West. And uh, we're supposed to be in Laredo by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. But we got a message. I think we got more time. Well, we did get more time. We got to 11. Between 9 and 11 a.m. tomorrow. We got a couple extra hours. I hope that'll work. But this is a message I just got. Listen up. Message 1 of 275. Received today at 8.46 a.m. Begin message text. Okay, I got you until 1100 on this deliver just cheap. So you know and at 55 MPH. I show you could be there at 1-0 AM tomorrow, so we should be in good shape. Thanks and message text. Stop here in Durant, Oklahoma, at the Choctaw Nation Casino. Well, that's across the road. We're at the Choctaw Nation Travel Plaza. Yeah. Take a 30 minute break. Heck, we've already run almost 400 miles today. And we're getting down to minutes where we had to take a 30 minute break. And um, I don't know gonna be tight to get down there by uh, what time 11 o'clock tomorrow it's uh, almost 3 o'clock now probably have about three more hours to drive when we finish our break but um, yep I hate to do this to you but since it is Wednesday you will find out next week's on next week's vlog if we made it to the radio on time. Yes, a little cliffhanger there. Cause as soon as I get parked tonight, I'm gonna have to uh, put the, all these clips together and um, get the vlog edited up and everything. 
it'll take a, a little bit of time so as soon as we get parked that's what we're gonna have to start doing so I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here and um, be sure you check out the playlist for all the weekly vlogs you can see all hundred and what 107 108 whatever it is and check out the new series trucking news unfiltered I got playlists made up for those there's three of them now more on the way and I appreciate it be sure you hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications when we upload a video and we've also been doing some live videos every once in a while so do that so everybody have a good week stay safe and I will see you next week